So this is a spreadsheet that I created for someone a few months ago, and uh, basically for teachers. You can track grades, assignments, quizzes, uh, easy way to sort of keep track of things. So three things to do here. A yes or a no, if you want to highlight failed assignments in red, just toggle back between yes and no. Number two, do you want to show the class average? Uh, so just click yes or no. It won't erase anything, it will just hide it or show it. And number three, modify the values below, or you can leave these the way they are, if this fits your definition. So, for example, between, if it's 73 or below 76, anything in there, 73.1, 74.5, 75.9, that would be a C. If it's 86 or less than 90, you would get a B plus. And if it's 93 or less than 96, you get an A. So you can modify this as long as the value, this value is higher than this one and the same all the way down. They have to always be increasing as you go down. Uh, the next sheet is instructions, and it looks like a lot of things, but I'll walk you through all the different steps. So the first part is step one, enter student names. And I have entered four student names over here. Step two is to enter a class name. So I'm just going to enter math, which is right here. And um, step three, what is the total possible marks for an assignment? So let's put in um, the perfect score. Let's call it 25. Okay, that was the perfect score. Next, we're looking at the type in the pass score. So let's just say that the, the pass was 12.5. That is considered a pass for that particular assignment. And number five, these points indicate the weight for an assignment. So right now we only have one. It doesn't really matter. Uh, we can just go in here and call it 25. But later on when you have many assignments, you could make some more valuable than others. Number six is just optional. You can enter a date. And the easy way to do that is just to go into a field, hold down the control key, and press the semicolon on the keyboard. That just de enters today's date, and then you can go into the formula bar, and let's say this was really supposed to be um, October 31st. You just modify it and press Enter or Tab. The next thing is check to, number seven, check to include in totals. So it is actually possible that we now see it's not included yet. We don't have any grade over here. Uh, we don't have any averages up here. But if I check this, now all of a sudden uh, we see that this is now included. So it, and it allows you to turn off an assignment if it was too difficult and not fair. You could turn it off for all the students at once. So I'm going to check this, and now it's back on. So we go to the instructions. Number eight, type in student test results. Uh, leave blank to exclude from students total. So we go in here and let's say that our first student scored perfect. Uh, the next student had 20 and then here we have 10 and here we have 18. So you see that this is red because this is below the pass score. And then we have our letters and our grade percent. So 25 out of 25 is 100 percent. 20 out of 25 is obviously 80 percent, and this one is a fail. So let's put in another test. Let's say this one was out of 50, and the pass was 25. We're giving it a weight of, let's just say it's 50 right on. And then the date was today, and we want to make sure this is included, so we check it, and then we put in the tests again, so Bugs Bunny is getting 50 again. Uh, here, Wayne Gretzky will get, let's give him 42. So you see how it adjusts that student score in here and the class overall average for the grade and the letter grade. And up here we have the average. Here we have the pass. So three out of four students passed. So far, two out of two. I've only entered two grades. So next, Babe Ruth. Let's say that, again, he doesn't do so well. He's always playing baseball. 20. So two out of three have, are, have passed so far, and then Mickey Mouse is going to get a 39. 
So you see how it adjusts everything. And back to the instructions. Number nine, type an assignment type or name. Uh, a number is added if you enter the same description. So if I go in here into this part and I say quiz and I type in quiz again, it will say quiz two. All right. And then over here I could say test. Now I think I'll actually update this and change this so it, it's a little bit easier to read but um, it's, it's using conditional formatting so these are ones that are not used and these are ones that are currently being used because we've typed in here so just really quickly I mean I think I'll have to create another video to explain the scoring in this because it's quite uh, in depth a lot of flexibility so the format is obviously quite long but let's now put in to ensure that this is working just to demonstrate if you put in a perfect score for all of them they get an A plus you put in a 50 for all of them we expect that uh, each individual has a hundred percent an A plus the class overall and the average of obviously has to be 25 because they're all on 25 or 50 so now if we were to change this to a 50 a 0 a 50 and a 0 the average drops to 25 percent and now we have two students that have done perfectly well Bugs Bunny and Babe Ruth and Wayne Gretzky and Mickey Mouse um, they have one assignment where they've scored perfect and then one assignment where they have zero now if we were to go back in here and change the weight see, th see how this one is worth double so really there's 75 points and this one's worth two-thirds or, or 50 points um, so if I change this to 25 that will actually increase the grade so yeah you see how I'm just pressing undo and redo now that they're equal here we get a perfect score and here we get zero they've hit 50 percent and then we look back to our settings and if 50 percent is still an F so if we want to get a D minus we'd have to get up to 60 percent so let's say we had uh, a 10 and a 10 now we have got up to a D minus because we're at 60 percent and then the overall grade or percent for the class is 80 percent and the letter grade is B minus and uh, as a reminder let's say you forget to put the weight we'll just clear that it is a little indicator up here that tells you please put in the weight for that particular assignment 25 so then that disappears and we put in let's just call this a 50 now we'll change that around and notice how now two students are failing again because the weight uh, for the second assignment is, is worth 20 is worth 50 um, it was 25 just a sec a few seconds ago so it pulls down the overall grade if I put that back to 25 all of a sudden uh, things are much better an eight two A pluses and two D minuses so as a final note um, these cells are all unlocked and you this is where you enter the data these are formulas up here now I did not lock this these cells back in here because I can't lock them because they take the value of either checking like this which gives a true you see up in the formula bar or unchecking gives a false uh, so if you accidentally delete one of those checking it and unchecking it will fix it again because the check is a true and it, it assigns the value to the cell behind the little checkbox unchecking is a false and once again the password if you're interested to unlock this you press unprotect type in test test uh, and you can go to view you can click on headings and in here you'll see the formulas but they are long formulas and I just caution you not to modify them unless you just want to learn how this works and kind of play around with it but um, this is actually a free product so uh, I won't be able to respond to all the emails at least not very quickly so uh, this is a, definitely a free product at this point uh, if you play with the formulas you have to sort of remember this is an array formula to get the special brackets it's control shift enter um, and then this is a simpler formula but it's still a little bit long so the easiest thing is just not to unlock it and leave it this way